Rural Virginia was at the forefront of the Civil War. Life back then was obviously much different than it is now, and that extends to how the holidays were celebrated. One of the many landmarks in Virginia's Civil War history is the Bushong Farm near the New Market Battlefield. Every December, reenactors help the public understand how Christmas was observed on a late 19th century farm. Christmas is more like Thanksgiving is today. Uh, it's not as much about opening presents and, and waiting for Santa Claus to come. Uh, it's more about sharing a meal with family. Food was the cornerstone of the family celebration, along with religious services. Most of the food was grown right on the farm. Oranges, cranberries, maybe some special treats uh, that are brought in, but pretty much everything is made here in-house. They're growing carrots and potatoes and they're, you know, they're storing those in a root cellar and keeping those fresh. They have an orchard here. They are growing their own apples and pears for desserts. Uh, so we have an apple pie and they're going to make that. Biscuits, uh, you're going to purchase your, um, your flour at some point. Uh, they don't have a grist mill on site. So they're growing their own grain, but they're not refining it here. You're going to purchase your flour and, and to, to make biscuits. They likely had several milk cows uh, to make your butter, your cheese, your cream. Uh, and that, that's all that. Of course, a chicken. They are going to have chickens around here. But we, we want the traditional roast chicken or roast turkey. It's, it's, it's appealing to the eye for, <laughs> for the Christmas celebration. Leslie and Tom Mack are both retired school teachers from the area. They are reenactors at the Bushong Farm and play Christmas classics like the First Noel and O Little Town of Bethlehem. We would have prepared something together uh, to play together in the church with everyone else, um, playing with the family, of course, um, before and after, uh, preparation for the holiday celebrations. The Bushong family celebrated all 12 days of Christmas and music was an important complement to the overall celebration. Virginia farm families in the 1860s would have decorated some for the holidays, but the current fascination with a Christmas tree had not caught on in the countryside yet. They would have had the, the garlands and the wreaths and the, um, everything else to make Christmas. During the Civil War, Virginia's Shenandoah Valley was known as the breadbasket of the Confederacy. The valley's fertile farmland and strong transportation network helped keep rations flowing for the Confederate forces throughout the war. Several critical battles were fought in the valley for this reason. Many Virginia barns and crops were burned toward the end of the war as the tide turned against the South, proving how important agriculture was to both armies. The war years tested Valley Farm families' resources and their resilience, but the Christmas celebrations went on. In the kitchen, we've got several people working, again, preparing your, your Christmas dinner of pies and maybe a roast chicken or a roast turkey. Uh, we have carrots today. We have some potatoes as well. Uh, getting ready for that. Getting ready for Christmas. Every December, you can visit the Bushong Farm and see for yourself how Christmas was celebrated 150 years ago in rural Virginia. Check the Virginia Museum of the Civil War's website for details. In Shenandoah County, Virginia, I'm Burke Moeller reporting.